Hey guys, Greg here. This video is on how I over 5x'd my data science interview rate. It worked for me, it'll work for you. This video is just a few minutes long. Trust me, just watch it, it's extremely valuable. So firstly, I thought that I should have as many projects on my resume and LinkedIn as possible. While it makes sense, right? You'd increase the probability that you're showing a skill that they'd like you to have. So if you put basically all possible projects and all skills, of course, they're going to see something that they would like and you would be applicable. It does make sense in theory. The main problem with this is that although it might be good for the computer algorithm, it is not going to be good for the human evaluators algorithm. Basically, they'll look at your resume and see if there's five projects on there, well, each project is, I guess, one fifth of your ability here. Whereas if you had one project, it'll be 100% of your abilities. It's all of your effort combined. Say that an employer looks at one project on each. If they look at the one that is absolutely everything, all your abilities combined, that is the overall impression that they'll get is that you are phenomenal. If they look at one of your projects of the five projects, well, they're going to say, okay, you actually have a fifth as many skills as this other person. Make sense? But what if you're in the scenario where you believe you've made five excellent projects? I'm gonna to explain to you why I also don't like this. The main issue with this approach is that employers hire for very specific roles. And so if you are looking for a computer vision role and you have three computer vision projects all spread about, okay, that could still work. Except what a lot of people do, and I was doing this as well, is say, okay, machine learning is a broad area. I should have some on computer vision, some on natural language processing, some in general, and I'm going to just show all of those on my resume. Well, an employer is going to look at that and say, okay, you have some computer vision skills, but also, why are you doing all this other stuff? It's great that you're learning these things, but they don't care. They are looking to hire for a very specific role. And if you have one project that is really showcasing these skills, versus three projects that are kind of showcasing these skills, they would definitely pick the person that has the one big project. Now, I know what you're thinking. The reason that this doesn't quite work, it's close, but the reason it doesn't quite work is that you want to be suitable for general data science roles. You want to be suitable for specific NLP roles. You want to be suitable for computer vision roles and all of this stuff. The reason that we go into data science often is because it's applicable in a variety of domains. However, employers don't like a variety of domains. They want to see you're very skilled at something in particular. Therefore, the way to build awesome projects in these specific areas while still being generally suitable for all of these jobs is to pick and choose what you show to each employer. And it's not as hard as you might think. I know everyone gets annoyed with the whole make a specific resume for each employer. You don't have to do that. Make a general data science one where you have an awesome general data science project and everything else is the same. Make a computer vision resume where you have everything is the same, except for your project is an awesome project in computer vision. Same for large language models. Everything is the same. Big project in LLMs. Do not make skinny, you know, tiny projects that you're going to put all on the same resume. Make one or two amazing projects in whatever domains you want to be suitable for and pick and choose who you show to each employer. This is the precise framework that got me over 5x my interview rate. It makes perfect sense because employers want to see what they're actually looking for. If they see a bunch of stuff that they're not looking for, or they see what they're looking for, but in low quality, that, that's not gonna work. They want to see what they're looking for with high skill. If you do that, you will over 5x or maybe 10 or 20x. It is extremely important to show them what they're looking for. Do that with that framework and I promise you will get results. I hope this was helpful, guys. Drop a like on the video if it was and I'll see you later. Good luck and have a great day.